Hi everyone. So I wanted to go through the books that have been on my shelf. I have a little gap here. <laughs> um, the books on my shelf that I've never read. They've been sitting on my bookshelf for years and I haven't touched them. And it's for a reason or another. Um, but I just wanted to go through them, give myself some accountability to see if I will actually read them. <laughs> now since starting booktube I think I will get through them a bit quicker. I want to read all of them, there's nothing here that I don't want to read, just for some reason or another I didn't get around to them yet. So yeah, when I, I moved from Ireland to Scotland for college and I remember then kind of like getting rid of a lot of books and like putting them into charity shops, leaving them at my home. I kind of put everything on Kindle. I think any books that I really like to put them on Kindle just so I didn't need to pack them. So I think this has started since college, since my master's degree. So yeah, the first book I bought in Edinburgh <laughs> was Kazuo Ishiguro's Never Let Me Go. And I actually did just read this. Um, I was like, this has been here forever. I think it's been five, six years. It's been five years and I bought this. Yeah, I, I think I bought this in 2016, 2017. But yeah, I think what put me off reading this I heard this was amazing and everything but I think what put me off was I already watched the movie like I watched the movie I think a year or two prior like maybe 2014 and if you don't know this is a book where it's a bit of a dystopia so you kind of want to know as little as possible before reading this to have the full experience and I watched the movie so I kind of knew what happened so I think that's what put me off reading this for ages but it's been so long that I nearly forgot the movie I still remember the dystopia so I think that's what put me off but yeah I did actually just read this but I thought I would include it because it's kind of like the start of my TBR pile <laughs> my next one is Game of Thrones um this is the first book I think the first book is just called Game of Thrones and it's got the cover with Sean Bean at the front I have read this i have like i think i've gotten maybe to page 200 and then put it down and i think because of that reason i just never got back into it so yeah i think because i started and then gave up again i think that's kind of what put me off trying to finish it um i think when i do read it i'll start from the start again yeah i love game of thrones i love the show it's one of those instances where the show is just as good as the books I feel. So yeah I am excited to read it. Yeah I will do that this year. Another one I got, I think I got this in around I would say 2017 maybe, never got around to reading, is Ready Player One. This is by Ernest Klein. This is about a dystopian future as well and everyone lives in these crazy like tower caravan parks and everyone kind of escapes to virtual reality. Um, again I seen the movie of this so I think I stopped wanting to read it then because I knew the story. If I'm not mistaken I think there is a sequel, not quite sure, but um, yeah the movie I thought was okay so I think that's what put me off wanting to read this but again I will try to read it. It has a lot of 80s references and I was born in the 90s so I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of the references but yeah I heard this is a fun fun read. Um, so I have another one, this is In the Distance by Hernan Diaz and I just heard really good things about it so I picked it up. I heard it's really like atmospheric. Um, I think it's about two Swedish brothers who come to America and I think they get separated and I think the story is about, so I think he travels across America so it's a lot of atmosphere, a lot of traveling. It sounds wonderful but yeah I just never got around to it. I won a prize for, is it Pulitzer Prize for fiction in 2018. So yeah, hear good things. Yeah, again, never read it. I think this is the book I'm most excited for. Uh, the next one is The Water Cure. This is by Sophie McIntosh. And this was long listed for the Man Booker Prize in 2018. I think I picked this up because Sunbeam's Jess was talking about it and it sound, the, the premise sounded very interesting. I think it's about an isolated family and I think they live in an island and there's a couple of daughters and they don't have any other interaction with any other people and I think people come to their island. So yeah, it sounds interesting. Um, it doesn't seem too long, it's only like 230 pages so I don't think it would be a long read. The next one is Jane Eyre uh, by Charlotte Bronte and I got this beautiful like cloth bound cover and it's pink on the sides. I got this for Christmas or my birthday, I can't remember. But yeah, I still, still just haven't sat down to read it. Um, I know the story, I've seen adaptations. I want to get into Bronte. I love Austen, so I think I'll enjoy Bronte, any of the Bronte sisters. But yeah, this is a beautiful edition. I really, really love it. <laughs> the other two are When I Had a Housemate Move Out, as uh, she gave to me. 
because she was moving to America <laughs> and she didn't want to pack them. So I have North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is a bit chunky. <laughs> um, I think it is 500 or so pages. I think I was just intimidated by the size of it. Um, even though it's a small book, it's still quite chunky. Um, I don't know the story actually. I think I remember watching like half an hour of the BBC adaptation and I think it's about the Industrial Revolution in the north of England. So I'm assuming it's kind of like differences between northern and southern England at this time. Apart from that, I don't really know. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a classic, so I, I do love classics. Another one from my housemate. <laughs> um, this is Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Um, it's definitely a shorter one than her usual. This is only 180 pages. Um, I like this edition. It does have like little does have little like illustrations but yeah I, I have no idea about this story no idea um I love Jane Austen and I'm trying to read her work I've done Emma and Pride and Prejudice now so yeah I, I think I'll do this next so the next one this was a mistake <laughs> um I actually bought this um so this is The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley and I bought this for my mum for Christmas and my aunt bought the same book for my mum for Christmas <laughs> and she got the uh, hardcover, like a lot bigger, harder cover. Um, so she was like, oh, you can keep it. <laughs> so I kept it. I still haven't read it. Lucy Foley, I believe um, she's Irish, which is lovely. I think it's about a group of friends going on holidays in a cabin for a hunting party, I'm assuming. And I think it's a murder mystery. Um, and I've heard it's really, really good. Um, I also have The Guest List by her too, which I need to read. I love books where you have to try to figure out what's going on. Um, so I think I will like this, but yeah, never got around to it yet. It's such a pretty book. I actually love how yellow it is. I have two more and I actually bought these in 2020. So they're not too long on my TBR, but I still haven't got around to them. Um, I got Talk Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. And this is a tiny mo novel, um, I think it's only 130 pages. I believe this is a children's book, I'm not quite sure. Um, I came across this because when Disney Plus came out, I seen the movie and the actress from Gilmore Girls is in it. So yeah, then I was on Amazon and I was like, oh, you know, I'll get the book and see, because I did quite enjoy the movie. So yeah, you'd, you'd probably read this in like two hours. But yeah, still haven't. <laughs> And yeah, I just picked this up um, because I heard good things. This is where the crawdads sing. This has over 5 million copies sold. Like I knew this was super popular last year. And I think they're making this into a show. And it's the same actress who played Marianne in Normal People who's in it. So that would be cool. Um, yeah, I've just heard good things about it. I actually have no idea what the plot is. No idea. Oh, I think it's a murder mystery. Cool. I think it's about a girl who lives alone on an island. Okay. And I think it's a romance. I'm getting by the blurb. I think it's a murder mystery slash a romance. Um, and it's also a beautiful book. So yeah, need to read this. <laughs> so yeah, that's all the books that have been on my shelf for ages and I need to get to. <laughs> and I'm putting them out here to the world to keep me accountable. <laughs> so yeah, if I read any of them like Never Let Me Go, I'll mention that in my March wrap up. But yeah, I'll speak about them in my wrap ups as, as I go through them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.